Uh, to conclude, uh, well, both access control and uh, penetration testing, uh, what kind of results do we expect from penetration testing? And, well, I suppose more to the point, what kind of results can we get out of penetration testing? Uh, we uh, need to be realistic here. Uh, penetration testing is definitely not the be-all and end-all. Like running honeypots, as I've mentioned before, it's uh, sometimes fun. It can provide us with very valuable information, but we have to be realistic about um, what it can provide, what it can't provide, and uh, tune our expectations to reality. Uh, so, uh, what kind of results are we going to get out of penetration testing? Well, we're going to get uh, some indication of vulnerabilities in the system. Now, uh, just because you don't get results out of a penetration test, just because you don't get a penetration, does not mean that there are no vulnerabilities. You know, it can identify some vulnerabilities for us, but it can't tell us that there are no vulnerabilities. Uh, a negative result is a negative result, and that's it. Um, we, we can't on that basis say, okay, we've done a great job, we have no problems. Uh, that, you know, that doesn't come out of penetration testing. It depends on how good the penetration tester is. It depends on what type of penetration testing you have done. So, yes, uh, valuable information when you discover a vulnerability, but uh, no, it doesn't tell you that your system is, in fact, secure. Uh, um, it will uh, identify for you gaps in your security measures. Uh, and again, you know, it, it won't tell you that there are no gaps. Uh, yes, um, uh, that's valuable. And, you know, when you think you've put something in place and you find, oh no, there's a gap here, there's, there's uh, some way to get around this, fine. You know, that is, that is good. That is valuable information. Our, you know, defense in depth, our layered defense relies on that type of information. You know, good, but not to be all and end all. Um, also, uh, your intrusion detection systems, um, your, uh, particularly your intrusion response capabilities. Uh, should be tested as a, a part of this. And again, you know, it should tell us, did we, in fact, did, did our defenders uh, manage to detect that a penetration was being attempted? What kind of indicators did we get? What kind of information did we get? Did we get it on a timely basis? Was it reported to the appropriate people as we're doing it. So we have um, uh, an opportunity to test that detection capability. You know, we've, we've put detection systems in place. Do they work? And in a sense, again, you know, this is part of the assurance requirements. The detection systems are the, the functional requirement Penetration test, an appropriate penetration test, uh, tells us whether or not we can depend on those detection systems. Um, uh, finding out you know, whether somebody is monitoring the audit logs. Uh, you know, we've got logging going on. Um, does our uh, security event and incident management system actually look at them, uh, tell us what's happening. 
uh, provide us with reports that are useful in terms of indicating, yes, a penetration test, uh, uh, well, a penetration attempt is in place, whether it's a test or, or a real uh, attempt to break in. Uh, how is suspicious activity being reported and who is it being reported to? So we've got, you know, all of these uh, questions um, and, and we have to analyze the results of the penetration test our, ourselves with respect to our systems and are they fulfilling the promise. Um, you should probably uh, have, you know, outside parties uh, definitely audit um, involved with this. Uh, the, uh, you know, the penetration testing people themselves may uh, give you some indications, but, you know, somebody should be working with you as you're going through these reports and figuring out, you know, is what is this saying to us about our actual security posture? Um, are we are we reasonably secure here or rather you know are there things that we can identify out of this that definitely mean we've got to improve this right now or we've got to look at this possibly in the uh you know near future uh uh you know possibly uh, an indication that's a little bit more complex and we have to determine um how to pursue this information and and how to identify um, what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to put in place, what extra layers, what extra tools, um, what extra functional and possibly assurance requirements that we that we have to have. Uh, is our access control uh, correct? And and of course, you know, this is going to drive uh, the choice of additional countermeasures. Possibly it's it's going to identify this particular tool, this safeguard, this control that we thought was protecting us isn't. And, you know, so let's uh, uh, think about, you know, whether or not we need to continue that. And, uh, you know, should we be um, dealing with that uh, uh, in another way? Uh, maybe we need something else in, in place of what we've got here. Now, and, and once again, and uh, cannot really stress this enough, this is not your risk assessment. This is not your risk analysis. It contributes to it. It provides you with information about it. It's helpful in regard to doing it. But this is not a risk analysis because, once again, if the, the person who is uh, doing the penetration testing, you know, they do not know how important the assets are to you. And it's always about protecting the assets. We need to know that. We are the only ones who can decide that.